Hello artists and welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazer. This week we're going to be doing a fun first drawing of the year since it is the new year of 2021 and we're going to be drawing a giraffe. And this is going to be a close-up view of the face. Giraffes are one of my favorite animals. I think they look super weird and cool so uh, this will be a fun drawing to do. So you're going to need a paper a pencil to draw with, and you're also gonna need something to color with. Now, before we get started, I am going to divide my paper up into eighths. Uh, and this is just gonna be a helpful guide for how we draw it. So I'm going to very lightly with my pencil, draw a line down the middle. And if you notice, I have my paper vertical. I'm gonna draw it very light because uh, these are gonna end up being erased. Um, so after I've divided it in half this way, I'm also gonna divide it in half horizontally. And these do not have to be perfectly straight. These are just kind of estimates. And then I'm gonna divide these in a half as well. And so you should have eight kind of equal sections on here. So I'm gonna draw in Sharpie just so you can see it a little bit easier. Um, so we're gonna start with the nose. So I'm gonna to go to my first line right over here, and I'm gonna make two almost like oval shapes. I'm gonna do one that goes this way, a little bit diagonal, and one that goes this way. So they're gonna be kind of mirror images of each other. Now I'm gonna to go to the side here, I'm gonna trace around it, and then kind of go in and trace around that one and stop just underneath. Now next, to finish off the chin, I'm gonna make kind of like a U shape. And I'm gonna start a little bit past this line and I'm gonna go down to almost halfway in this section, almost halfway. So once I've finished this off, I'm going to do the side of my giraffe's head. So I'm going to start at this line up here. I'm going to go in a bit. I think this should go maybe about outside of where the nose was. So I'm going to start here, and our line is going to kind of curve outward, and then come back in, and end right about there. And we're going to mirror that on the other side, so I'm going to do about the same distance, come out, and then curve it back. And these don't really have to be exactly identical because, you know, all giraffes, just like all people, are different shaped and some are a little lopsided, so that's fine. So after that, I'm going to add those big little antlers that they have on the top of their head. So I'm going to start with this. And you can make them the same height or different heights. I'm going to make mine different heights. It's be a little more interesting. And see, I wobbled out a little bit, and that's totally fine. Not going to make a difference. Now, in this second section here, in between these lines, this is where we're going to do the ears. So I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to start and go up to about that line, almost to the edge of my paper and then curve it back. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And then we're gonna make just a little, we're gonna follow this curve so it looks like that ear is kind of folding over. So I'm gonna do one of these, and I'm gonna do that over here too. So I'm just gonna follow that like that so it looks like the ear is folded a bit. All right. Now next, we're gonna do the eyes just below that. And these are gonna be kind of oval shaped, a little bit pointed in the corner. They're gonna go kind of like this. And they're probably gonna go right about to that middle point on the page. And after we've done that, I am going to add the neck will come down here. I'm going to make it a little bit side diagonal, so it's kind of leaning off to the side there, just like that. And I'm going to let 
Next thing I'm going to do is add some spots. So I'm going to add this kind of pattern. Now, this may be a little bit of trivia, you might not know. Some giraffes have different types of spotting, and that's how you can tell what areas they're from. But these kind of are typical African giraffes. They're these spots that kind of follow each other. So after you do one, you kind of trace the outline a bit with the next one and go like that. So the spots all kind of follow each other. And you can make those off to the sides there. And you can even make some that kind of come up onto the face, although they're probably will only be a few. The spots generally only on their necks and bodies. So I'm gonna do that. Let's do a couple little ones over here. And my final step, I'm gonna give him a nice little stripe right across the front of his face. So I'm gonna go in like this, and we're gonna take that all the way down to the nose and come back up into the ears so now as you can see we have finished our funky giraffe drawing so if you want to keep this pretty realistic um, spots are generally going to be very dark orange or brown the skin is going to be a yellowish to beigeish color um, and i would alternate between oranges, yellows, and browns for the most realistic color. And then background, you can decorate as you like. So this is a one week assignment. So after this, when you finished it, uh, we will be getting something new next week. So hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time.